What's going on guys, D-Legend here. Today we are back from Japan and uh, it's time to finally record a quick little video just showcasing some of the items that I picked up while I was in Tokyo. Um, these are all like TCG or OCG related items and uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys my pickups. So let's start off with the non-Yu-Gi-Oh items real quick here. Um, first and foremost, we picked up a couple of random One Piece booster packs. I think this is the newest set or the latest set. And then we also picked up some Romance Dawn. I opened up one pack of Romance Dawn um, off camera and actually pulled this. So that's pretty cool. I'm probably going to keep this just in my personal collection for a while. I don't think it has any value, but uh, yeah. Uh, next up, we picked up like five of these packs of Disney Weiss Schwartz 100 Years of Wonder, and uh, I pulled nothing too crazy out of them so far. So hopefully there's something in this pack. I know these are pretty hard to find these days. So um, I didn't see any like sealed boxes of this, just loose packs of this one store. So I'm not sure if they really searched them or anything because they were selling these for decently cheap, I'd say. Next up, we have some rush filled packs. Um, these were just random pickups because they were like a dollar each. And uh, I figured it'd be fun to just rip them open and see what's inside of those. So we'll open up these packs at the end of the video, probably. Next up, let's go into some of the singles that I picked up. Um, I didn't really buy that much stuff in Japan for Yu-Gi-Oh related stuff, in my opinion. Like I didn't spend all that much money on Yu-Gi-Oh, um, which is fine by me, but um, I just didn't have enough time to spend in Akihabara, which is like the Yu-Gi-Oh hub, I'd say. Um, but yeah, let's go through some singles that I picked up. Uh, these are some like original print um, old text box singles that I've picked up. Uh, they came in like this mystery grab bag type thing. And uh, that's why there's some play sets of certain cards. Next up we have Mystic Horseman. Uh, I don't remember this guy's name, Yama King of something, I think, and then Maiden of the Throne or something like that. But as you can see, all old cards, and they're all in really good shape. I'm probably going to sell a lot of these because I don't need multiple copies of these. But um, yeah, these are going to be for sale at some point in time. Look out for that in like a claim sale story on my Instagram page. Um, next, we have some Rush Duel cards. These are really cool, in my opinion. These are like full art Yu-Gi-Oh cards that we've been looking for and asking for for the longest time from Konami. But uh, they only really um, started these in Rush Duels, which they look fantastic, in my opinion. And uh, I've got a set of these for sale, just one of each of these. I was only able to find one copy of Cyber Dragon um, from the same set, but Cyber End and Cyber Twin here. So if you guys want to pick these up, check out my claim sale on my Instagram story. I'll probably be selling these um, as a set, like as a pair there. Next up, we have this weird looking collector's rare. I've never seen this card in my life. If you guys know what it is, let me know in the comments below. It might be OCG exclusive. I've never seen this card before, um, but it's from AC01. I'm not sure what set that is even, but collector's rare, beautiful card. And uh, yeah, this one's going to be for sale as well, most likely. Next up, we have this card here. I don't know what it's called off the top of my head. I know it's like, um, I know it's from Phantom Rage. <laughs> Other than that, I don't remember, but this is an ultimate rare. As you can see, the texturing is gorgeous and the card itself just looks amazing. I know this card comes in Starlight Rare, I want to say. So to see it in ultimate rare in Japanese OCG looks amazing as well. So definitely going to be a card probably for sale. I know I said definitely probably, but uh, you know, Cool card, very minty. Uh, look out for that on my claim sale story. This is an Evil Star uh, Dolka? No. Dol Dolka, I think. I think. Um, from Order of Chaos. This is an ultimate rare. Beautiful card. Just picked it up. Um, and it's pretty minty, other than this one tiny little flap um, soft corner there. But otherwise, a very minty card. This one will also be for sale because I don't need it in my personal collection, but I figured somebody would appreciate it and would want this in their collection. So yeah, moving on, we have a beautiful Nitro Warrior from the Duelist Genesis. This is just the ultra rare from Duelist Genesis, but cool card nonetheless. Uh, I'd say very light, like lightly played. There's just some edgeware um, top corners, but uh, and maybe just a tiny touch there. But yeah, beautiful Nitro Warrior. This one will also be for sale. And then we have a Black Rose Dragon from Crossroads of Chaos. The original printing of this card in Ultra Rare. Did not pick up any of the alties. I did see quite a few of these alties, but uh, they were pretty, 
pricey, I'd say. Not as pricey as English versions, but uh, pretty pricey nonetheless. But this is a gorgeous card. This one's probably very lightly played as well, I'd say. And will also be for sale in my claim sale story. So check those out. Uh, moving on, we're going to go into some other cards that I picked up recently. Uh, let's go into these first. So these ones are just gold rares from Rush Duels. And I thought they were really unique looking because it's not like we really see anything like this in the TCG. So I picked them up. They're like a dollar each as well. I'm going to keep these ones in my personal collection because they're pretty cool looking cards and uh, they're really cheap. So why the heck not? Um, next up, I did pick up a set of these beauties for myself. Um, I had to. They're really nice looking cards and uh, overall pretty cheap. Not not complaining whatsoever. Um, what else do we have? We have a Stardust Dragon from Prismatic Art Collection. I already sold one of these actually. Um, this one I might keep for my personal collection because it's a cool looking Secret Rare Stardust. Prismatic Secret Rare Stardust. Uh, next up we have an Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. This is like the Mattel promo, but the Japanese version of it. So really a big fan of this. And uh, yeah, happy with that card. It looks really nice. It's like really glossy over the top of the card. It looks very like plasticky, but really nice looking card. And uh, another addition to the Flame Wingman collection. So pretty cool there. Let's go into these before we move into the big hitters. So we have a bunch of these, not a bunch, only a few. I only found a few of these ultimate rares um, of cover cards from recent sets. These are like the new version ultimate rare and I'm a big fan of these, if you guys could not tell. Um, can't really tell how amazing this, there you go. It looks amazing, it looks gorgeous in this lighting. I don't know if that helps or just destroys it, but there you go. Just look at how that pops. That looks amazing. This is uh, Shooting Majestic Star, of course, from Dawn of Majesty. Really nice card. We have Gaia. Um, I don't remember its actual name. Gaia the Dragon Champion, Magical Champion Dragon or something. But also Ultimate Rare. Gorgeous card. Had to pick it up. I might actually grade a couple of these because I really like the rarity and uh, I think it's cool, but I'm not sure about that yet. And we also have a Quasar from Dune, which is the newest set, Duelist Nexus, and uh, look out for an opening of that in the near future here. But this card looks gorgeous in Ultimate Rare. Big, big fan of that. I also picked up another copy for one other guy and I sold that and shipped that off to him already. So. Next up we have Photon Hypernova's uh, cover card, number C62. This is a Galaxy Eyes card, I'm not sure what it's called though. But yeah, really nice foiling. And then lastly we have this card here. Um, from Dimension Force, I wanna say, is the set. But it's like an odd eyes card, I don't remember what it's called, but it's the cover card. So I figured I'd pick those up because they are beautiful cover cards and ultimate rares, and they were relatively cheap overall, so no complaints there. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, the, the only other one, I, I tried to pick up as many of these as I could, like in terms of like one of each cover card, but I couldn't find a whole bunch of them because I feel like they sell out pretty quick after the set is released, if that makes sense. Um, there was only one other card that I saw that was an ultimate rare cover card, and that would have been the... Um, Magician of, no, whatever it's called, Dark Magician Knight um, from Battle of Chaos, the cover card there, but I didn't pick it up, unfortunately, because it was really badly damaged, um, so unfortunate there, but yeah, moving on, we have this gorgeous OCG Ultimate Rare Water Dragon. I've been looking for a copy of Water Dragon for the longest time, and I finally picked one up. This one has slight edge wear there, unfortunately, so if I were to grade it, it would probably be a PSA 8, I'd say. Um, but yeah, otherwise, pretty clean card. Maybe a 9, if they let that slide. I'm gonna, I, I might grade this just because it's a beautiful card and I really like Water Dragon. We'll see, we'll see. I'll let you guys know. But yeah, this foiling is gorgeous. <clears throat> 
Next up, we have a Pokemon card, just one random Typhlosion. I figured I'd pick this up because I am a big fan of Typhlosion. And uh, nothing too special, but Japanese Typhlosion, secret rare from, uh, what's the set called? Not Darkness Ablaze, what's it called? I don't remember. Astral Radiance, I think it's called, yeah. So that's pretty cool. And then moving on, we have a few other cards. Um, so I picked up these guys here. This is an elemental hero, Chaos Neos, in Ultimate Rare. I thought this would be an amazing condition because I took a quick glance at it, but it didn't notice that there were like tiny little pen dots there, or pin dots, unfortunately. And then like a touch of Edgeware there as well, so unfortunate. This is probably just a binder card, but really cool looking elemental hero and beautiful ultimate rare foiling, so I couldn't say no to that. Um, I'm probably going to keep that for my personal collection because I do like Chaos Neos quite a bit. And then, what else do we have here? We have an ultimate rare Cyber and Dragon, which I also thought was in immaculate shape when I picked it up, but uh, then I took a closer look, and there's like tiny little indents like right there, if you can see that. So that's unfortunate, but this is also a really, really nice looking ultimate rare, and I couldn't really say no to it. Um, very nice card. Otherwise, just little tiny indents here and there, but nice card and uh, happy to own this as well. Moving on, though, we have another Cyber End Dragon, but this is actually a Rush Duel card. So this is an Overrush rarity card, and uh, I'm actually a big, big fan of this. It's, it's like a full art, but it's also just really nice looking it has like that cracked ice shatter foil type look um and then the prismatic borders there so really nice card full art rush tool card happy with this probably gonna grade this copy just because it is really nice and you uh i couldn't find any of these boxes sealed so pretty cool to find one of these and i picked it up for about 12 dollars there maybe 10 us dollars and then we also have <clears throat> this card here that I picked up for a one dollar. This is the biggest steal of the entire trip, in my opinion. This is a Dragon Knight Draco Equist, and I think it's beautiful. And I got it for a dollar somehow. It was in the dollar bin, which is insane to me because that look how clean that card is. There's like one corner of like just edgeware there on that corner. Otherwise, immaculate card, and I paid a dollar for it. So keeping this in my personal collection for a while too. Very happy with this. Next up, we have three copies of uh, Clearwing Synchro Dragon from Cross Souls originally, but uh, this is from Duelist Pack 25. And this is like the holographic Ghost Rare. This is like their new variant Ghost Rare. So it's kind of hard to show you guys, but that's like what it looks like. It, they do the opposite effect instead of making the um, background like grayed out and silvered out. They make the actual, like, monster itself silvered out, if that makes sense, and then the background stays colored. Um, it's like a platinum border, and it's a pretty cool looking card. I might grade, like, all three of these copies, just because they're really cool, in my opinion. And uh, I'll probably keep one or two of them and then sell the last one, kind of thing. But uh, I might sell just one of them raw as well. So if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below, or hit me up on Instagram, at DLegend underscore Yu-Gi-Oh. But, uh, yeah, the last card that I picked up singles-wise is this gorgeous, gorgeous Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman. This is very, very clean. And uh, this was probably the biggest steal in this entire, actually not steal per se, but like my favorite find, other than the Draco Equist. Very, very clean as you can see here. I'm going to be grading this card and uh, keeping it in my personal collection. I do have a PSA 7 on this, so I'm probably going to let that one go. Even though it's a pretty clean 7, it probably could have gotten an 8. I uh, might let that one go and then just keep this one for my personal collection, because I think this has a chance to gem. 
Um, but yeah, happy with that pickup for sure. And generally speaking, I wish I had like another day at least to spend in Akihabara, but uh, really fun to be able to go there anyways and uh, check out all the singles that they, there were there. I'm probably gonna put up a video in the future as well, just kind of compiling all of the footage that I took uh, while I was there. But um, yeah, moving on, let's go into the one sealed product that I picked up. And this is actually for Crashdown Collecting. This is a Duelist Nexus OCG booster box. I'm gonna open this up on the channel on his behalf and then ship him the pulls. I'm excited to do that because we can pull the 25th anniversary quarter century rare. <clears throat> we can also pull the brand new quarter century rare um, of that beautiful like commemorative card. It's like the magician's card. I'm not sure what it's called in English. Uh, we can also pull this in ultimate rare. There's a bunch of different ultis in this. There's also the, the holographic ghost rare of this cover card as well. So let's see what's hap what uh, is inside of this box for Crash Town Collecting. And I'll ship them the pulls after that. And then, yeah, lastly, we have these beautiful mangas that we picked up as well. So these are beautiful. I'm just going to show you, like, some highlights, just the cover there, and then this beautiful art piece and what all of it kind of looks like. Just bandit teeth there, bones. Just love this manga. It's beautiful. And it's illustrated so well obviously by Kazuki Takahashi. And uh, yeah, if you guys want me to flip through this more slowly, let me know in the comments below and I'll do that in another video probably. But this one I thought featured a card, um, Dark Magician Girl, but it actually is just this massive, beautiful print of Dark Magician Girl. I thought it would be a smaller card, but no, not quite. It also comes with this bookmark, Select for the Scad Dragon. And uh, that's the cover, but yeah. Beautiful art, absolutely love just flipping through this. I think it's super cool. And um, just checking out the artwork from Takashi. Not something you see every day. And uh, these are pretty hard to find. I wish I could have picked up a few more of them, um, but did not find any more. So unfortunate there, but uh, yeah, that's the end of my collection pickups in Japan. Let's get into some packs real quick here, and then we'll end the video because it's going to be a longer video already. Let's go into some One Piece first. So I really opened that one pack with a foil in it from Romance Dawn, so I don't think there's going to be anything in this one. But you never know, right? I don't know much about One Piece. I did buy a booster box of Romance Dawn for my friend the Pandulist, and I'm going to ship that off to him soon too, so... Yeah, these were, these were cheap, so it's fun to open up. This is like a reverse foil type thing. And uh, yeah, couldn't tell you what that's about, but... <clears throat> Let's get into this pack here. I love pack openings, guys, as you know. It's been a while since I've recorded one, though, or actually done any, so... Well, not sure what that is. Another, like, reverse type thing and another one of those. So nothing too crazy overall there. Um, but yeah, let's get into some Yu-Gi-Oh! And then we'll save our Weiss pack for last. Let's go into this Rush Duel pack. It looks like a fake Blue Eyes, knockoff Blue Eyes type thing. Do I have scissors here? I really would prefer to, uh, let's try that. Let's try this from the bottom. These packs were really cheap as well. Like, I think you can get a booster box of this for like 15 bucks, 12 bucks. Um, I, I'm assuming this set is horrible, but um, cool to see some Rush Duel artwork and cards that I've never seen before. Is that just a rare? Yeah. So I'm not sure what that is, but that's all right. Let's go into this one. Actually, let's go into this one. This is our second least expensive pack. I wish I picked up more of these. I just didn't have the space in my luggage, really, so I probably could have fit more in, but at the time when I was in Akihabara, I didn't really know how much space I would have left, so I had to ration out my supplies here. Beaver Warrior. Oh, uh, polymerization. It looks really faded, though. I think it's polymerization. 
And then, oh, this is a nice card. I'm a fan of that. It's like Dark Magic Attack, I think, but in Rush Duel Rarity. So that's that's a cool card for sure. Lastly, we have this Rush Duel Mega Road pack. I'm not sure what that's all about. <laughs> Let's find out. I'm pretty sure the uh, gold rares come from this this set here, by the way, because I don't think they've released any other gold rare sets for Rush Duels yet. Uh, you can also find these in gas stations at um, in Japan, so really cool. Another poly. And another rare, so I'm not sure what that is, but that's a Cyberstein. And some fireworks. <laughs> so very interesting, yeah. Overall, I'm happy with the Yu-Gi-Oh packs, with one foil out of the three packs. Let's get into this Disney Weiss Schwartz pack, 100 Years of Wonder. Let's try to save this one too, because... I've ripped into the other ones quite a bit. <clears throat> that rips open just like a Yu-Gi-Oh pack, so that's awesome. Hopefully we pull something of value here, in terms of like, just nostalgic value. I don't remember his name from, uh... Rip Tangled? Uh, Anna? Anna? Captain Hook? Trio of Cats? Ooh, we have a... Dancing... Disney Daffy Duck type thing. What is this? This isn't Daffy Duck, is it? This is the first hollow we've actually pulled from this set, so that's pretty cool. I don't know what it is, but I will take it. And then, what else do we have? Dumbo, Pinocchio, our regular reverse. This is our first uh, hollow that we pulled, actually. Regular Donald Duck. And 100 Years of Wonder. Beautiful cards. I really like these. Weiss Schwartz Disney cards. Um, big fan of just the way they look and the artwork and the way they just pay tribute to all these Disney franchises and uh, creations. But yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, pulled some decent cards out of our few packs that we opened. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing the pickups that I got in Japan recently. Thank you guys for watching. Look out for a pack opening soon for Duelist Nexus. Subscribe to the channel and toss this video a like and I will see you next time. Peace.